Hey you guys, we are out here today and we're gonna test out this bullet safe vest. Is it gonna pen penetrate? Um, is it gonna over penetrate? What this bullet safe vest is actually going to do to our mannequin Karen. All right guys, let's check it out. I'm gonna go show you what type of firearms we're using for this test drill. All right, we have the 40 that we're gonna test out on this vest. We have the Ruger 357. Then we also have a 22 a 380 and a 9 millimeter that we are going to test on this bullet safe vest. Let's get to it. From our bullet safe, we have the 22 and we're going to shoot it. Okay, let's go see the damage. Sorry, okay. Is Karen safe? did not go through the back side. So it did not penetrate. I'm gonna come around. Okay, Karen is safe. Top left shoulder. <laughs> All right. So far so good and that was with a 22. All right, same 22, just with a hollow point. If it over penetrated. No, it's still in there. It's expanded quite a bit. But... Alright, so if you can see that it did expand a little bit, but it still did not over penetrate through the vest. No. <laughs> Putting the vest back on. Karen. There we go. Little lady. Right here we have just a hollow point, and this is our 380 LCP. Let's go see. crucial damage but let's see if it will get over penetrated it did not Woo! okay I am getting I'm pretty impressed right now <laughs> okay we got to put this back up and we're gonna come back with a full metal jacket and apply it to our bolt safe vest all right so same thing um, again, just the Ruger LCP. I did put just a full metal jacket in here into this bullet safe vest and we'll see what happens. All right. This is the hollow point? That was a hollow point. And that's the full metal jacket? Yes. And it did not mm -hmm. over penetrate. Huh. I think I might be wearing one of these when I go to Walmart next time. <laughs> so now we have the 9mm and this is just the Glock 43. This inside here in the chamber now is a, a full metal jacket and we're just going to go ahead and deploy that into this bullet safe vest. All right. This was the full metal jacket and it did not over penetrate. I mean, it's. You can fill it in there. Yeah, you can fill it, move around, not the bullet itself, but like the fabric inside. You can tell it's not as flush as it once was, but still, that's going to stop that. So. Pretty and that impressive. was a full metal jacket? It was a full metal jacket. So now we're going to go ahead and do the Glock 43 with just a hollow point and see if that over penetrates. And then we'll move on to the next calibers. Hollow point, nine. But knowing that the full metal jacket did not over penetrate through this vest, then this should most likely should not over penetrate. So let's see. So here it is. I mean, you can see inside of that bad boy, but it still did not over penetrate. It's pretty cool. All right, let's try the higher calibers. All right, so just to put it in perspective really fast, um, we just shot six rounds into this bullet safe vest 
And like Justin was saying, typically that magazine's already done for and empty. So if you were to wear this vest, would it save your life? I don't know. That's, I guess, a personal preference, but I would feel pretty comfortable wearing this bullet safe vest just doing this test right now. Okay, so what do you have? Uh, Glock 2340 cal. Okay. This is a, just a hydro shock hollow point. Okay, so we're gonna do hollow point first? Yep. Okay. see part of the bullet or something in there. Oh yeah, okay. Or part of the steel vest. And that made a substantial lump in the back. But okay, did it still penetrate? nothing through. No. Okay, are you impressed? So far, yeah. It's <laughs> Very cool. Impressive. All right. I mean, would it hurt if it's on you? Hell yeah, it would. I did it almost in the exact same spot. All right. And still nothing came out. And that, okay. And that was Full like metal 40. jacket round. Full metal jacket round. Okay. Well, so say someone was gonna rob you. What do you think they would have in their hand as far as a firearm? What type of caliber do you think typically someone would use? Nine millimeter or 22. Okay, so which we've used on this bullet safe vest, right? Okay, because most likely you're not gonna be robbed at gunpoint with like a AK or an AR or something like that, right? I wouldn't think so. Yeah, so we're just kind of being realistic here using just our typical handguns to, you know, deploy some shots on here just to see what we're to happen or what's going to happen if you were to use this bolt safe vest. So we have the 357 next. Okay, so it's not typical for someone to carry a 357, but it's still an option that we're just gonna throw out there to test just because we think it's badass. We'll start so start with the 38 special and then do the 357 after. Okay. Let's go test it. Let's throw in some cowboy action. Ready? Yep. So still, that's the back side of the vest. So right there's where we hit. Can you move your hand? Sorry. There, you, there it is. Nothing came out of the back. And nothing so far. Okay. Well. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. Now we are gonna do the 357 Magnum into this bullet safe vest, and let's see what happens. Ready? I wouldn't think. So right there is where it hit. Okay. And nothing. nothing came out the back. Wow. Okay. It's, I mean, a significant it's block. really ballooned. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. Do you guys can see tell. that? Yeah, we can. Crazy. All right. Well, still, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. And it's an affordable price. Like you think a you know, bullet safe vest or a bulletproof vest is expensive, right? But what this is about two ninety nine, something like that. High two hundreds. Yeah. So I think this would definitely save somebody's life if they were to wear it. Kinda impressive. Well, thanks Karen for your time this evening. I'll tilt you back up. All right.